So my name is Dina Jensen. I work for Bradley Yeldar. We are a communication consultancy, so we do integrated communication uh, campaigns and annual reports and CR reports. And we pride ourselves in kind of making sure that we understand what's going on within the different sectors that our companies um, are working in. And also it's very important that we are on the forefront in terms of what companies should be reporting on, so not just making the, the communication right, but actually understanding what are the core issues that companies are facing. Um, a lot of companies that, that we're working with are within the professional services sector. Um, this means that they are, in, in terms of gender, they, they have a lot of very well-educated people, but what they seem to have a tendency of, of is not to have enough women in the senior management roles and also a lot of companies have problems retaining um, the, the female talent that are entering the company. Uh, many of our clients are kind of asking for some sort of established framework or benchmark to report on these things because as a private company you obviously have competitors and you are, in terms of reporting, you're always exposing yourself to risk because this is what your investors are looking at. So, you want to make sure that you're following an established set of guidelines or rules in a way to make sure that kind of everyone is doing the same because you don't want to be the first one going out and exposing your weakest points maybe. Um, another issue that we're seeing is that, that um, we work with a lot of very global companies so they might have their headquarters here in the UK, in London, but they are effectively global companies that operate in you know, 20 to 50 different countries um, and they're facing very, very different issues in terms of gender in these different markets. Um, so for us, or for me I guess, it's, it's really important that the guidelines that will be developed can be used in a global context, but that they take into consideration the local uh, specialities in terms of culture and legislation, because otherwise, you know, you would make you, you would make performance indicators that are just impossible for local companies to report on. Um, so I think there are going to be a lot of challenges for the GI um, indicators here in this area because the, the cultures and, and the habits of the different countries are just so extremely different.